The Messenger is made possible with funding from the Specialist High School's major program, also known as SHISM. Do you have your red seal? Hello, welcome back to The Messenger. I'm your host, Trent Newton. On today's program, Abby Rogers takes a look at the LEAD program at Norwell. Logan Slate introduces us to our new art teacher. Quinesia Joyce checks in with the cross country team. But first, Silas Coops signs on with the Radcliffe Fan Club. Hi, my name's Clayton Moore, and I'm the leader and founder of Norwell Radcliffe Fan Club. This semester, Radcliffe vanished. I went into withdrawal, trying to drown the pain in any way possible. It started with the gym, but that didn't fill the hole. Uh, sugar ready? I tried spending time in nature, with the trees. I tried everything, but nothing worked. And then it hit me. What if other students feel the same way? Welcome to the Radcliffe fan club. We normally go around the circle and ask how everybody's doing. Max, how are you going? I'm so disorganized without his online tracker, and I don't know what I'm doing. It's okay. It's okay. We all. I've seen the mental health of our members improve dramatically. When Tyson first joined the club, he was considering using foil instead of the area method. What kind of monster would do that to such a poor soul? We've recovered him somewhat, training him on the whiteboards. In our club, we collaborate over our shared love of the best math teacher in the world. We solve math problems together, graph functions on Desmos, and always remember our dual-line scientific calculators. Our next target, Mr. Aquino. He thinks he's so smart, weaseling his way into being the head of the math department here at Norwell. But Mr. Radcliffe is our true math yeah. teacher. This cannot stand. No. We must take him yes. down. Ride Cliff. Ride Cliff. Ride Cliff. Ride Cliff. Ride Cliff. Ride Cliff is more than just our math teacher. He is more than our true head of the math department. He is our savior. Same. <laughs> should I pray too? Is this what I should? <laughs> Can I take a picture of this? Please. <laughs> the Radcliffe Fan Club means a lot to us. We've really cultivated a sense of community and we hope to see it grow. We now meet on Fridays in the Use for All bathroom at lunch. I hope to see you there. Hey Norwell, my name is Abby Rogers, and this past week I took a trip around the school to ask the LEAP leaders what the LEAP program is all about. LEAP is leaders engaging with awesome people. And it is run by students in our school. LEAP is a program where students in high school pair up with new grade 9 students coming into high school to help smooth the transition from elementary to high school. My favorite part about being a LEAP leader is just helping everyone. My favorite part about being LEAP leader is probably making connections with the new students coming into the school so they don't feel as scared. LEAP has helped me in my transition to high school by uh, making me feel welcome. 
Leaps helped me uh, find my classes and feel welcome to the school. Um, Leap has helped me in my transition to high school because it helped me know where all my classes were and it helped me know where my locker was. Um, yes, I would recommend being a Leap leader. You get to make lots of memories and you get out of class some days. So. I would recommend people become Leap leaders because um, it's a good way to get volunteer hours. You need those to graduate. So. I would recommend being a Leap leader because... You get to help people, and it's a lot of fun to hang out with the grade nines. I recommend becoming a LEAP leader to be a part of school more. Uh, my favorite LEAP event, probably the movies. My favorite LEAP event has been the Cornhole Tournament. My favorite LEAP event was the movies. LEAP is important because um, you can help guide the grade nines through the hardships of their freshman years. The LEAP program is important because it pairs our positive students with new grade nine students coming into school. We help them to transition into high school so that they feel more comfortable. We give them lots of information and advice so that they can be successful not only in class but also socially. It's important to get involved and to help others. The LEAP program is important because it helps grade nines feel comfortable with the school and not overwhelmed. Um, the LEAP program is important to make grade nines and grade eights coming into the school feel safe and important into our school community. Uh, I would like to see LEAP play Fortnite. Um, I would like to see LEAP be like more in the halls and help out more, I guess. A Fortnite tournament. Make sure to keep an eye out for future LEAP events. For The Messenger, I'm Abby Rogers. It's Mrs. Douglas here to talk to you about our hockey buyout. Students will be buying out tomorrow for the Norwell Varsity Boys hockey team playing against the Owen Sound Wolves. Students buy out for $2 and all of the money raised will go towards the MRI Plus campaign for the Palmerston Hospital. At the buyout, you'll be able to get snacks, participate in Chuck a Puck, uh, maybe win some prizes. There'll be t shirt draws and uh, have lots of fun and cheer on the home team. If you're interested in participating and you haven't bought your ticket, you should see Mrs. Douglas today. You can also go, also donate to the MRI campaign by going online to pdhfoundation.ca. So how did I get into art and becoming an art teacher? Uh, so I actually started out by going into landscape design at Fanshawe College. And I was there for maybe half a semester it was really interesting stuff that we were learning there, but I just realized it wasn't quite for me. And I ended up having an illustration class within uh, that course, and that really kind of sparked my interest, and I just realized that I really wanted to explore art more deeply and, and more broadly, even beyond landscape design. So I ended up going to art school at Teachers College shortly after, um, and found that this is really where I wanted to be, making art and teaching others how to explore um, and navigate the art world. How do I get my students to express their creativity? Uh, so I think it's really important to allow students to involve uh, what their interests are in their own artwork, so whether that's sports or um, dancing or certain animals and pets that they like, whatever it might, might be, uh, just to incorporate that into their art so they're really diving into what interests them. How do I create an inclusive and supportive learning classroom? Uh, so I think it's really helpful to incorporate different artists from various backgrounds um, and cultures just to so show that diversity to students. So for instance, Norvell Morceau, um, he's recognized as the grandfather of Indigenous artists. Um, then there's Reggie Laurent, 
is a black American artist. And he incorporates different colors and shapes into his work uh, to express the diversity even with people who come from all different types of backgrounds. And so things like that, just even incorporating that into our own artwork and showing uh, artists from different cultures can help create a supportive and inclusive environment. art to inspire and educate my students. Uh, so I think it's helpful uh, to recognize where art is in the real world and really it's everywhere. It's in advertising, it's in home decor, um, to the more fine arts and the pottery uh, sort of sculptures that you can create and set in your home. Uh, so I think just connecting art to career pathways um, like graphic design and architecture and different opportunities that there are in the real world um, help inspire um, and uh, engage students in a way that they want to explore um, visual arts more closely. For The Messenger, I am Logan Slade. Aww. Now playing The Messenger. running since I was in grade 4 and then up to now. Just this year, there was no cross country team last year. I started in grade 4 until now. Uh, the furthest I ran is 4K. Mm, probably like 6 kilometers. The farthest I ran is 4K. Um, really, it was probably just have the fun of it and stay active. In elementary school and they had a cross country team. Found it interesting. It was fun and I like to stay fit and active so it helped with that. Though the season for the cross country has ended, there are still other chances for you to apply if you like track. Like next year for the messenger. <laughs> The Messenger is made possible with funding from the Specialist High School's major program, also known as Shizm. Do you have your red seal? Thanks for watching this episode of The Messenger, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe down below. For all of us from The Messenger, I'm Trent Noon, and we'll see you in the next episode.